A bushfire has threatened homes and lives in Pinjarra. The fire started around 1.30. Firefighters have just got on top of it, but they're worried about a wind change. Jerry DeMassey, what's the situation there right now? Yes, Tim, I'm standing amongst the aftermath. 56 hectares of burnt-out bushland. Thankfully, no homes were destroyed, but flames got so close, it could have been much worse if fire crews didn't get here as soon as they did. Now, the blaze started at the top of Moores Road and travelled south very quickly, heading straight for homes. It was out of control. The flames were ferocious. Wind was picking up. But 20 fire crews and aerial bombers managed to get things under control. At one stage, one fire truck actually got bogged down. Fire crews had to leave the car and use their hands to frantically scoop up sand away from the tyre so they could get away in time. Things look to be under control at the moment, but as you say, the wind is changing as we speak, so things could change, and that could mean another threat to lives and homes tonight. Crews are now blacking out for some time. They'll be here probably overnight, continuing to black out and monitor the area. The wind is going to change direction a bit later and there's potential for it to flare up again. So if those wind gusts blow embers towards houses and spot fires start, things could flare up all over again. So Pinjarra residents are being urged to keep an eye on the DFES website, look out for emergency warnings and be prepared to take action. Tim.